All right. We've come back. We have help. We're ready to get things done. Part of getting things done, of course, is going down and killing Fenrir, which turns out to be one of uh, Yggdrasil's children. Did we, did we always know that? be careful when attacking this guy's nose. Because the only way he can hit me is like when I let him, it seems. So it seems like as long as I go in for like just one hit per cycle, I can't uh, die. Is that right? I think we're pretty good just doing this. I think the angel shield also makes this a lot easier because the uh hitbox on the shield is a lot bigger. Like, this thing is, like, barely even able to touch us. It's only able to hit me more or less when I actually swing my sword. Like, not even gonna try to hit that thing inside his mouth. Unless. Unless this is not working. I think it's working. He's on a green health bar. I mean, if he's only vulnerable inside of his mouth, I guess I'm gonna have to change my policy. on this green health bar for quite a while. Maybe he is only vulnerable inside of his mouth. Even though it looks like he's taking damage. That's what it is. I think 
I think maybe like you just have to hit the shell enough times for it to open his mouth. Alright, we'll try that again. Um, I thought I was being clever by ignoring that form, but obviously uh, that was the wrong thing. Really. a lot with that jaw attack, so probably should be more careful next time. Oh, he hit me anyway. get him on the third try. Yeah. Pretty safe, but not entirely safe to, to stand right in front of him like that. Now that I understand how this works, it should be easy. Could not dodge the spike that time. Terrible. What kind of pro gamer am I? Two more life bars. Dangerous. <laughs> that was not quite how I wanted that to go. I almost had him. Oh, gosh. All right.
Yeah, we got it this time. Be like hit hit the nose twelve times for him to open his mouth. times it actually hit me uh, behind my shield. Oh man. Sorry, I was greedy. I wanted it. Soak a little damage. Not too bad. Scary, scary, scary. Alright, now there is the head of Mimir. We know that heads of Mimir uh, do stuff. But considering that that fight was pretty tough, let's flee and uh, get a heal. Just in case that there is going to be something that eats us and kills us in one hit. Because we don't like to lose progress like that. Alright, now let's head back down. Shrine of the Frost Giants. Yeah, so like I said, that guy is immune from damage, I believe, until you get the Flame Pork. Same as uh, Gnepler, or whatever, in the Ice Fire Tree Top. I don't know if there's, like, a connection there. Um... 
ice, fire. I think they're both said to be children of the trickster, and that's why you need the flame torque. I, I don't know. I think that's the lore reason. Oh. Have we fought one of these things? I guess not. That's a mana garment. All right, but it turns out we know the answer here. Where did I record the answer here? Um, hearts do not balance the scales. Not that. Not that thing. Uh, not him. Giant Bergelmir supports the world of Frost. Yeah, we, we know about that. We got the Sing Bird of Prey. To beat. Oh, yeah, to defeat Vidofnir, you need the power of flame. Yeah, we knew that. We got that one. Um. There's a fairy who holds a key. Go further down past the deadly river of the underworld, and a fairy is being held captive there. Yeah. We know that. Bit of time. Oh, to gain an audience with Osiris, you need Moth's Judgment. Okay, so once we have the Moth's Feather, that removes the poison from the room. Um, and if we show that to Osiris, that's... Or we show that to Anubis. All right, that removes the poison. All right, I was wondering why the poison was removed suddenly. Um, yeah, we need the Destiny Tablet still. We've got the Yugas. Um, oh, we need Mother's Wish for a Howl, which is missing. Oh. Well, we can't do that. Encant the words in the mists of a ominous twisting swelter, the two words that illuminate light and day. That will lead to the underworld gate where Vidofnir waits. Oh, so if we actually go above the room with Vidofnir, we can chant sun and moon? Is that what they're telling us? Are they telling me that I, like, took that long route through the underworld to get to Vidofnir every time, and I didn't have to. How rude. Alright, let's go check it out. Sun and moon. Obviously, it's not here. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, it's where guard. Oh, and let's read this guy. Yeah, we got the Vidofnir thing. He's actually got some good swim ability. In the lava, I was not expecting that. Good to know. Here? There it is. So yes, there is a shortcut to Vidofnir. It's right here. Um, which is kind of interesting. That means we can come into hell from this side now. Or the Eternal Prison, rather. We lose our cup when we do that. Which, you know... Could mean that this is a possible entrance to the puzzle, but not necessarily. Either way, it makes things pretty convenient. Um, yeah, so Vidofnir is here, but we killed him, so he disappears.
and they will give us hints now. Um, I am Ersh Kigal, the eldest of the underworld deities. I am but a being who wished to simply exist here. What would you ask of a fallen deity? I don't know why they suddenly answer questions. I'm... Did they... No, they, they actually have always answered that. Um... Alright, so... Vidofnir is here. Or rather, uh... Yeah, we've got these little thingies. What am I supposed to do on these, though? These mounds. I think we're supposed to chant um, the name of the former association, which is to say Moon. No? Former association of Socket wasn't Moon, was it Sun? Is he a Sun Giant? Sun. Well, he was either Sun or he was Moon. Is he Sun and Moon? Is he a traitor? No. I'm pretty sure he was a Moon Giant. So, uh, we don't have the answer to this. We have to be able to get through those for real mounts. So, that doesn't really help us very much. Let's not fall. Uh, there is some stuff up here that I wonder if we can get to. But I... Before I try this jump or whatever, I like... I want to kind of... Just get... Just get rid of that guy. Yeah, there's there's a ladder here. Okay. Oops, let's not chant moon. Encamped at the colossal dragon's neck. Here we go. Heaven and earth grind fire and wind flow into the sea. Those words will lead you to the Infernal Fiend's jaw. Okay. So I've mentioned this puzzle a bunch of times. Um, the Infernal Beast, or the Infernal Fiend, bites at the Colossal Dragon's neck or something. So, Heaven, Earth, Fire, Wind, Sea is the mantra. So, let's see. Heaven, Earth, Fire, Wind, Sea... Now we just have to leave. Oh, the name of this room is also Yomotsu Hiraska. Which sounds vaguely Japanese. The heck is over there? Alright, so the long story short is we don't want to be here anymore. We can come back anytime. But we don't want to be here. Let's go. And the reason for that is if we go to the Japanese place, like I said, when we map out all of the areas, um, you know, each individual map, we can map them. And one of the ways that you can arrange them, I don't know if I mentioned this, is there's cracks in the background. I sort of alluded to it at one point. But you can use the cracks in the uh, walls to help line up the map, um, because if things are like not super clear of like how things uh, map together. And when you read this thing, it says, where is this? And there's a picture of a dragon in the bottom left corner. That's how you know that this area is the dragon, I guess. So this is the colossal dragon. Things. I just want to kill them. 
All right, chant at the Colossal Dragon's neck. Why is this the neck? I don't know if you, I guess if you squint at it, it kind of looks like a dragon. Like the top three rooms on the left are like a wing and maybe this is like his face. I, I don't know, I'm not really sure how we get to this is the Colossal Dragon's neck other than by mapping out the rooms and seeing that this is where uh, two things connect. Now the problem with that is that the other thing that connects is the Heaven's Labyrinth. And I didn't even find the front entrance to the Heaven's Labyrinth this time. I I don't remember how you even get here. Um, so this lets you get into this chest. And that's cool uh, if that chest was open. But that chest isn't open. So that's kind of disappointing. Um, what am I doing here? Die skeleton. Sorry, it's just bothering me. A vase that stocks the power of storms stored in the buried fortress. Okay. So we obviously want that thing. And this has something to do with the buried fortress. Or or rather they're saying in the buried fortress is wait. In the buried fortress is the thing. Okay, so they're saying the ancient battery. That's what the vase that power that stocks storms. So they're saying the Ancient Battery is in the Buried Fortress. Uh, that's... Oh. Can we not... Can we not get out from here? Oh. That is a one-way door into the Heaven's Labyrinth. How the, where, the, where the frick is the front entrance of the Heaven's Labyrinth? To, like rack my brain like did i did i forget a door somewhere obviously i forgot a door somewhere um maybe we'll okay maybe what i'll do is i'll check the maps and see if i remember where all the doors are so the top right is the main entrance, the top left is uh, from the Ancient Chaos, and the bottom is to the Ancient Chaos. Alright. And this is actually, it's a backside area, the Heaven's Labyrinth, so if there's going to be an entrance, it might be in the back. Oh wait, no, the Hall of Malice is the backside. Okay, so maybe it is in the front. Um... Okay, so the center is to um, the roots of the Yggdrasil, and the bottom right is to the, uh, the backside of this area. All right, let's check front of the Shrine of the Frost Giants. Top right is to Valhalla. Top, uh, the middle right is to uh, is to Althir, and the left side is to the other part, like the disconnected part of the Shrine of the Frost Giants. Okay, so that doesn't help us. See, Divine Fortress. Uh, that's Valhalla and uh, Roots of Yggdrasil. Icefire Treetop. Uh, the middle is Yggdrasil. The oh yeah, and there's these pink exits as well. So those pink exits are both to the Infernal Battlefield. Middle entrance is Roots of Yggdrasil. Bottom is to the Underworld. All the way on the right. What is that? Have I been to that room? 
I don't remember what room that is. But I have a feeling that I can go there now. That might have been blocked by Death Sigil, actually. So, let's go ahead and make this happen. Oh, that's just normal back, huh? Even better. Let's talk to Nettie. Oh, this is not Nettie. This is Inanna. Um... Yeah, she's just telling us when you go through the underworld, you lose items. Yeah, we figured that part out. Oh, this is still locked. Oh gosh. And there's a Ratatosker here. those? I don't know. I don't know why I'm bothering to do that. So this would be probably one of the skulls that we're missing. I know there's supposed to be 12 skulls. There we go. Yeah, let's let's go get a full heal before trying that. I was just thinking, like, where the freaking heck is Heaven's Labyrinth? Ah, it's behind that Rata Tosker fight. Actually, I'm wondering, is there a faster way over here? If we go to the ice part of the uh, Ice Fire Tree Top, maybe that's a little bit closer. Danger Bridget. That's alright. That did not work at all. Let's try that again. I'm not worried about frigidness, though. Now, let's maybe take care of some of these annoying guys here. Alright, that did not work. Let's get our shield up. Hey. So he's really not that bad, it's just, uh, we're lazy. Coming here without full health. We got a crystal skull. 
and this opens the door below, and this has got to be the entrance to Heaven's Labyrinth, right? Yeah, so you could fight this as soon as you had three souls, or, uh... Really? Yeah. I guess we just never went there. Let's go through. Yeah, here's Heaven's Labyrinth. Okay. Uh, Andrelithus. Oh, there's like a thing here. <laughs> it's just got one, uh, one of those things. All right, it's not that exciting. The Gigas went down the path of imitating the mother's power. They were sealed in these lands. Their concealment is entrusted entirely to Typhon. Alright, so this is the other side of the Hall of Malice. This is where we have to be in order to activate the Hall of Malice. Because right now the Hall of Malice doesn't work. Got Arachne. Of course, based on where we are in the story, there's now Lokopala here, which I don't think there usually is. Uh, let's go... Yeah, let's go back to the right. Because I think we want to go in that passage down there in order to hit that uh, weight. Iphon's slumber is ongoing. So it has been since the gate was sealed by the unruly four pillars. The four pillars are Arachne, Scylla, Griffin, and Glyzea Lebolus. So those are four mini-bosses that we're going to be facing in this area. Uh, when we kill all four of them, then we'll be in a good spot. Why does this look like a trap that's going to kill me? Alright. It wasn't a trap, it was just a map. Alright, so we've got the map. This is the hero's room. Which is fine and all. Proceed down the path where backs face each other. And you can see in the bottom left that looks like an infernal beast. Ne yet another clue that this is the area they're talking about. Proceed where the beasts face each other. Oh yeah. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Let's go in here. This is Hermes. This is Heaven's Labyrinth, where the third children, the Olympians, have been shut away, but our race is at an end. No one remaining remembers why we were forced here, nor why we continue to fight, since we've entrusted fighting, governing, and everything else to the machine in the room above this one. No one else has the energy any longer, but if you like, I can tell you what you need to know about this place. Yep, we do like. The third children's underworld deity is known as Hades. However, I believe that he has already been driven out by uh, by the underworld deity of another generation of children. Okay. Those behind this branch, known as the Gigas, are demons. They plan to copy our mother's great power and keep it as their own. It seems that long ago our ancestors were sent here in order to seal off the Gigas, but at this point we no longer have any idea of what we're even meant to do here. It is true, I was once hailed as a hero. The snaked twins I captured were remnants of the first children. From there, we third children were able to absorb the culture and civilization of the first children. The achievements of my race were all founded upon my own actions, but I was unable to stop the infighting. We did not create the machine. We've simply been using what was here since long ago. It's possible that our ancestors created it. We no longer even know how to use it. The machine simply seals off the Hall of Malice where the Gigas live. It would not be strange to find rooms constructed similarly to those in Eglana with the Lama within the Lamalana ruins. They said that the records of Eglana have been passed on to Lamalana. However, only information has been passed on, so I'm sure the construction of the rooms themselves is at least slightly different. 
I guess that's a clue that maybe if you've played the first game, you might recognize some similar puzzles. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what that's about. But he gives us kind of a bunch of generic hints. Rude. So there's obviously, there's a lot of stuff to do in here. This is a whole area. We're at the war mural. And there's a picture of a beast on the wall who's facing the center of the area. We have a number two in this room. Or sorry, that's a number four. Uh, does that matter? I don't know. Not really, I guess. At least not right now. And there's that thing. That's kind of neat. Killed all the spikes for us. Uh, let's go in here. Typhon is the enormous machine created by the ancestors of us Olympians. It's no longer operational, but even while dormant, it continues to seal off the Gigas. I've heard about an ancient text recorded to Typhon that can be reawakened under strong light that will signify the coming of our age, the age of the Olympians. Cool. So we have to get a strong light uh, to attack or to, I guess, appear in front of the giant machine. We haven't seen the giant machine yet. Uh, we'll get there. That's coming. But in the meantime, we have, uh, you know, a simple little area over here. Yeah, we just want to break through. Here's another guy. Oh, we got a bracelet. I came here to sell, sell, sell. This guy looks like Mega Man. His name is Mega Rock. That's a bracelet. I used to wear it myself, so it's a little bent and drooled on, but I'm sure it's handy. Thanks a lot. Derpity derpity derp. Cool. So what does the bracelet actually do? Uh, it's an accessory that, hold, accessory that holds mysterious power. Equip it to be able to smash vases in one strike. All right, well, that's going to make grinding for money at least a little faster. So we activated that. That solved a puzzle, I guess. Now the Infernal Beast is moving. Within the belly of the crawling internal fiend. So that's this guy. We want to get inside his belly. Think. All right? Is that right? Is that is that not correct? Is that not what I'm supposed to do? Maybe it's a different one. All right, let's go in here. Oh, my harp, or so it would seem. However, this is not my harp. The strings of my harp were custom made, and the bridge was set higher for a harder, more beautiful sound. I couldn't play such a harp. If you want to hear me play, then listen to my old recording. I recorded a recital just once, upon request. It should be at the shop run by a pig. Shop run by a pig, yeah. So they're talking about Eglana Musica. This is uh, her boyfriend. Yeah, we don't have enough money to buy that quite yet, but... Um, he tells us that we can use the Eglana Musica uh, in order to appease her. Can I, can I do this? How does this work? Maybe I have to go in this side? There we go. Yeah, so that's inside the crawling belly of the beast. There we are. If we go inside of there, then... Oh, gosh. Then this opens up. And we get another crystal skull. 
Now, things are getting a little hairy here. I don't know if we're going to get all the way to the uh, warp point without dying. So let's go ahead and run back. But he signified to us uh, exactly what we're supposed to do. Which is to go grind money until we have 1,500. To get the true good recording of his work. Let's go grind. Now that we have a uh, slightly better able to grind uh, with the ability to splash, smash pots in a single hit. Grind some more money. I think we can kill skeletons in a single hit. That'd be nice. And, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I think the dagger will work pretty well. Because the dagger lets us move while attacking, unlike most of the other attacks. And yeah, now we're going to really be able to get a lot of money fast. Uh, using the dagger before was probably not the best because um, it takes three hits, so we wouldn't be able to just walk through like that. We would still get stuck. So being able to use the um, rapier where we can hit two pots at once was better. Yeah. But if we're gonna get money about this quickly... I think we should only need maybe one more trip. Alright, um, that was a pretty good run. I have about a thousand now. So let's see, what else can we do? So the natural next thing to do would be to uh, go back to the Shrine of the Frost Giant, or not the Shrine, uh, go back to the Icefire Treetop and try to get that shortcut back to the um, place we just were. Whatever the heck it's called. Hall of Heaven, Heaven's Labyrinth, that's what it is, not the Hall of Malice. Hall of Malice will come once we finish the Heaven's Labyrinth. No. It's often faster to just teleport up and drop down rather than climbing. That's just how it is. we can, you know, maybe th there is this elevator. I guess the elevator is good enough.
hope we can wait for the elevator. Would have been a little embarrassing. Oh, I guess I was embarrassed. Let's, let's wait again. How do I keep just failing? <laughs> Alright, let's go back up to the top. That was a lot easier than trying to climb that elevator. Yeah, and you need the anchor to get through here. Probably you'd have the anchor already, but I guess it's possible that you could get here without the anchor. So, Arachne's room. Let's go up here. So there's an angel in this room, in room number three. And that thing is Typhon. Uh, we cannot get to Typhon from this room. So let's drop down. We can get it from this room. Turning once will lead to the Priestess. Turning thrice will lead to the Griffin. Uh, we want to do both of those things. Uh, but unfortunately, we will not be able to do anything yet. Badger Typhon. A stone statue of the monster Typhon, a giant in Greek mythology. Typhon was birthed by the Earth in primitive times. He took the immortal witch, Echidna, as a wife and had many children with her. In Eglana, Typhon is the moniker for the maintenance computer created by the third children. So this guy's the computer. Um, I guess the computer is kind of running things around here. We took so much damage coming here that this trip is going to end up being a little bit more dangerous than I bargained for. Uh, we gotta go up. Alright, uh, just to the right. There's a pedal still there, but I desperately want to read this. This is Heaven's Labyrinth. The wake of the internal, infernal fiend that lusts at them after, <laughs> that lusts for the mother's power. Oh my gosh! Just uh, tripping over my words here. Let's go ahead and put a weight down. And that opens the shortcut to Typhon on the computer. There he is. All right. Before we do any more, let's go heal. Just wanted to get that shortcut. I guess we probably could have made it before. I was just a little bit worried. And let's see. Has the fairy returned? Are we ready to grind a little bit more? is ready. It's a key fairy. Gonna want that when we're ready for the underworld. We're not ready for the underworld yet. Plenty more stuff to do.
Uh, yeah, because now that the Heaven's Labyrinth is open... Yeah. I got stuff to do. If we can get about 500 on this run. Then we can get the Musica. And then we can finally uh, continue with the Underworlds. Not that we're going to do that right away. We're going to do Heaven's Labyrinth, I think, next. Because there's, uh, as they hinted, four mini-bosses, and some lore to get to. probably figure that the Eternal Prison is one of the last areas of the game because it has that boss puzzle that I really love. Which, I'm going to try to figure it out. I'm not going to look anything up. Try to avoid looking things up unless I'm like really confused of why I'm probably missing something. Awesome. So we actually have enough to buy the Musica. So we're gonna do it. We got some music. Our music lover. Let's go buy it. There's the Vidalfnir uh, chip, so that's cool. I probably would not have noticed that. These are the cracks I'm talking about. Look at this. See this crack? That thing. That's the cracks that you can use that run throughout the entire game. You can use those cracks to line up the areas. Now that you know they exist, you can like keep your eyes open for them if you care. But... So here's the Cirrus Prophecy Part 5, Sun has no idea of the power it has. The moon has no idea that it has power at all. Dazzling stars remain, smoke and flame rage. Flames frolic in the heavens, for the mighty have vanished. For its true form cannot be seen by starlight alone. As pop, uh, part five. And I believe that this is the last time we're gonna be coming to this area. So we went ahead and read that. Gosh. How's this thing hitting me so much? I don't think it's ever hit me that much in the whole game. Here's BTK. She's a pig woman, believe it or not. You can sort of see she's got pigs on her outfit. Oh, and Eng Musica only costs 50 cents now. Oh. It's because we talked to What's-His-Face and brought him the harp that he reduced the price for us, I think. That's the Eng Musica app. I thought Music Freaks would buy it if I boosted the price. It's a steal. See, now I feel silly for grinding that extra 1,500. Well, that's fine. Thanks, it's nice to get rid of it. Yeah, so I think after you buy the harp, that's when it reduces in price, or maybe after you talk to him with the harp. I don't know. Uh, either way, We've now got more money than we'll ever need for the rest of the game. We'll be able to buy everything we want. And I think for now, let's go ahead and save. Uh, next time I think we're going to run through Heaven's Labyrinth and go kill a whole bunch of mini-bosses. That's kind of the next thing. So I'm going to see you next time.